Welcome back to the channel, YouTube. This is W from Needy Cat Media. So today's video is about taking your DVDs or your Blu-rays and turning them into a digital format so that you can have them all the time. So if you got some new movies and you want to learn how to move them over to a digital format, stay tuned. So you got yourself some new movies and you want to make them digital. How do you do it? There are going to be two different softwares that we're going to use. This is going to be a two part video. This one is going to be about taking your videos and turning them into a digital format. And then the next video after that, we're going to talk about video compression. So my son just got these new videos and he said, Dad, we got to move over to the Plex server. And if you haven't um, seen my video on the Plex server, you really should check that out. Um, nothing better than being able to open up Plex and watch your videos just like you would on Netflix. Um, I'm not being sponsored by them. It's just something that I really, really enjoy. So you should check that video out. I'll put a link right up here. All right, so we're going to open up Make MKV. All right, so this here is all free software, just something you guys need to know about. But when you install this, you also need to go out and get a registration key. And they do publish some uh, trial versions. They're only good for about 30 days, but you get pretty much full access to everything. When you install this, it's going to look for your optical drive. So guys, yes, you need to have something to put your DVD into for it to work. So we're going to do that. As you can see, it knew exactly what I was doing. It opened a tray up. And now what it's doing is it's scanning through and I try to understand exactly what you put in it. And this you can use with your older DVD format and you can use it with your Blu-rays. You hear Needy Cat? Be quiet, Needy Cat. Once you're in, simply click on the movie And give it a minute to go through what it does now just full disclosure um, normally this process will work on I don't know 98 percent of the DVDs and blu-rays that are out there um, I have found a few that absolutely this will not work but for the most part um, this should work pr pretty well should have made this a full screen Okay, so you can see it said operational success fully completed and up the top you're going to see all the different chapters. Now what I do is I go and I look for the, get rid of all this, you want the chapter that has the most, there's 20 chapters and this is 5 gigabits, so you want to click on that. You want to give it a destination on your hard drive, now this is going to be at this point temporary or in some cases it might be just where you want to put this and when you're there you click on make MKV and now you sit and you wait this process could take I don't know 10 15 minutes so we'll be right back after it's done all right so we're almost done here okay so we got uh, copy complete one title saved so we will click OK here and we will bring up the destination file that we saved saved it to and I think that was on J and under ripped and that would be this one right here so if you double clicked on it you're going to see that the file is 4.65 gigabits, which was uh, a little bit less really than the 5 gigabits that it showed up here. If we double click on that, we have our movie. 
Okay, gang, thanks very much for watching. Again, this is um, going to be a two-part video. This here was simply just to uh, transition your DVD over into, or Blu-ray, into a MKV file and digitize it. The next one is going to be using a different software, and we're going to compress this video. If you're trying to save your videos um, to a hard drive, these things can compile up and uh, take a lot of space. So uh, it's always good to at least try to compress them a little bit and save some space as long as you don't uh, lose any quality. If you like this video, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe and click the bell so you can get notified of upcoming videos that, uh, that we post. Thank you again. As always, stay safe, stay healthy.